Let's take a look at the starting lineup for Chad Smith first. Deon we have Deontay Gary in goal for Chad Smith. A back four of Jaden Ed uh, Reese Clayton, sorry. Or back three of Reese Clayton, Michael Smith, and Kevon Gale. In the middle of the park, Anthony Allen, Devontae Wilson, uh, Tevin Richards, and Jamal Duaney. And up top, George Pringle on the left, Daniel Clark, the captain on the right, and Raekwon Stoney, who has three goals to his name so far this season, uh, down the middle. And they'll be playing with a 3 4 3 formation, Charlie Smith. Already some six goals behind their name, so high flying players there from last season as well. As we take a look at the starting lineup for a uh, color bar high, Omari Grant will be between the sticks. They have a back four of uh, Jaden Edwards, Fitzroy McLeod, Joshua Henry, and uh, uh, Devon Hutchinson. And uh, there appears to be a late change with Isaac Clark being taken out of the starting lineup. Javel Watson has been drafted into the starting lineup. Anthony McDonald, O'Brien Marks, Jaheem Rankin. Uh, Christopher McKenzie and Sheridan Wilson uh, complete the lineup for Calabar. So we'll get confirmation as to why the dangerous uh, Clark uh, has been taken out. And uh, we'll tell you about that in just a little while. But Clark. Charlie Smith at home, Stefan Duar, the man with the whistle. Charlie Smith coming forward early, their leading goal scorer is Tony with the strike. And unfortunately, he couldn't put it on target. It was that kind of day for the home school. Calabar, they came to play. Jaheem Rankin on the left-hand side into the area. And he found his partner in crime, Javel Watson, who provided the calm finish. That came after 20 minutes. Calabar, 1-0 to the good. Charlie Smith with an attempt from way out, and that was easy. Yeah, he looks very calm between the sticks, Omari Grant. But Calabar, they continue to press. This unlucky. Off of the boot of Sheridan Wilson, onto the crossbar. Gary was beaten, but luckily for him, his frame was in place. Then, again from the wide ear, this time it was Watson playing provider for Rankin, who just couldn't steer that on target. Calabar, they continue to come forward. Their captain, Fitzroy McCowd, with that header off target. But he had better to come. And then this sad moment for Charlie Smith. Look at the goalkeeper there, just lashing out with the left foot. You just can't do that, Deontay Geary. And Stefan Duar saw it clearly and showed him the red card. Reduced to 10 players. The free kick over the top. And Andre Bogle, the substitute keeper, brought into the free. He was a bit nervous here from there. Shot from outside the area from Kevon Campbell, who couldn't put it on target. This was on target, though, and Bogle beaten. The captain, Fitzroy McLeod, just a well-composed header into the far corner. 2-0 to Charlie Smith after 79 minutes. And they were in full control. And the captain, yeah, in command. They would get a third. This one, more difficult in terms of redirecting this on target. But Kimani Thompson did it to perfection there, number 13. The assist from Ronaldina Williams. Thompson the finish. Two minutes into stoppages and Calabar had a three-goal lead. A late opportunity. Stoney looking to bend that into the far corner. Look at that work from Amari Grant. That was impressive. Sticky glue on those fingers. And a calm save. That should have been a fourth for Calabar. And McKenzie just unable to put it on target. 3-0 after 90. A top-class performance from Calabar under coach Andrew Price. Nine shots on target from their 19 attempts. Charlie Smith, they only had three from their 12. So 21-4. It was a busy, pretty busy afternoon for Stefan Duar with the whistle. He showed two yellow cards as well and a red card 
for goalkeeper Gary. He will have to sit in front of a disciplinary committee in the days to come. Eight saves between the two teams, Charlie Smith making five of them. They had less possession and they had no goals, the home team. It's Calabar High who come away with the win. Another clean sheet for them, two in three, and three goals to nil, they win. Let's hear from our man of the match. He is a Calabar number seven, Jaheem Rankin. And I'm here with Jaheem Rankin. You're awarded with the man of the match for today. Congratulations. Now tell me, you scored a goal today, your team won, how are you feeling? I feel good. I see your team, they were running behind you a while ago, cheering you on. You have a lot of great football attributes. Tell me, you're 16 years old. How is this man, this Manning Cup season for you? Yeah, my expectations is good. In the, in the all money team, I'm further in, in the competition. And what instructions did your coach give you today? To go, run down the line and cross the ball in the box. Well, you definitely did that and you scored a goal, so thank you and congratulations. And now we're joined by the coach of Charlie Smith, Coach Eugene Williams. Coach, not the result you'd have wanted today, but assess your team performance. Poor. Coach, we know it's poor. We saw a red card and you were a goal down today. Attacking wise, what are some crucial things you need to be looking at? Crucial thing we just need to be focused, discipline, and be more committed. And on a lighter note, is there anything positive that you can take away from today's match? I can't take anything positive from this. This is my first home game, and this is very disappointing. Well, coach. Sorry about that, and thank you. You're welcome. And now we'll be talking to the coach of Calabar High, Mr. Andrew Price. Coach, victorious outcome today, rebounding from your last match on Saturday. What do you attribute it to? Um, I believe that those are fixed to our purpose. You know, we decided to continue doing what we're doing. I think we were a bit unfortunate when we played against Kingston College in losing that game. Um, we weren't very clinical in front of the goal and today, you know, we got the goals today. So I believe that, you know, we came operating in the same vein that we did last, but we actually got the ball in the back of the net. Well, you're in the group of death. You have some tough opponents ahead. How prepared do you think that this caliber squad is for those to come? We have, a, we have a good as chance as any in the group and it's a tough group, but we're going to prepare for all the games and we're going to take it one game at a time. You speak about preparation, but I want to talk about the depth of the squad. How deep do you believe that this squad is for the longevity of the season? I believe we have enough depth. You know, we had a couple of injuries even in warm-up today where we had to make some changes and we brought people in at the snap of a moment and they came in and they fulfilled the potential that we expected in them. So I believe we have enough depth to go.